Alright guys, so today I am going to be sharing with you my rummage sale haul as well as the church sale. So Eric and I went to a church sale on, this would have been Thursday, and um, there was also a rummage sale that day. So we kind of had to choose between which one we were going to go first. So um, the church sale started first, so we went there first and we were second in line. Um, which is always nice to be first in line because last year we found those left in mermaids and had we not been first in line we would have never have been able to grab those and then the rummage sale was like an hour later but again we typically would go early so we were one of the first in line and we were like 20 30 some people back I don't even know how many so not first in the door at the rummage sale but um, we did find some things at both places since I have been doing whatnot shows here lately I'm starting to try and look for just some small things that I can use as giveaways because giveaways are like a big thing on whatnot so I like I'm trying to find stuff that I could use for that type of thing and just some like small things to like add into shows when I do do them so I will talk a little bit about that at the end of this video, but let's just get started in with the um, church sale stuff first I'll start with. I haven't listed any of the church sale stuff. We didn't find much there. We had better luck last year there. Um, so some of the stuff I may still end up listing or it may just be saved for like whatnot sales and whatnot giveaways. So if you're not following me on whatnot, definitely do that because um, you can come join my sales or just hang out and chat with me or potentially win something that I'm giving away. So at the church sale, last time I had a whatnot sale, um, people do have requests of things and someone was requesting glass critters so I'm kind of like mentally trying to remember the things that people are looking for so when I'm out and about I can grab those things so I did end up finding this dolphin and it is glass it's like a paperweight and it's just clear but it's got this pretty coloring inside of it so I decided to pick that up it was a dollar so I will save this for a whatnot show. So hopefully that person comes back and um, checks my stuff out. I also found this. This was, at first I thought this was one of those fire and light pieces, but it's not. Um, it was made in Sweden. And I only paid, what was that, 25 cents for this. It's a really nice, thick, heavy glass. Um, it's called Konst is the little sticker on it so for a quarter you can't beat that it's like a little taper candle holder i wish there had been two i like when things are in pairs but there was only just this one but for a quarter you can't beat that um, for a nice piece of glass and i just did a glass show on whatnot i apologize i'm like jibber jabbering constantly about whatnot it's probably a little annoying but um I did just do a glass show on there so i can save that for potentially another glass show also at the church, I found this little vase. I thought this was so pretty. Um, it is like a enamel type of glass and this was 75 cents. I liked the shape of it and the coloring. So again, something I could put on whatnot or use it as give a giveaway. Eric found this little cat in a boot. This is by, I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, this is left in. It was 25 cents. I still have the sticker on it. Um, it's a toothpick holder. I actually sold one of these before on eBay, so this may go on eBay or I might um, just save it for a show, but um, it's really cute and we have sold one of these before. I think it actually went to a subscriber last time. And inside that shoe, <laughs> just completely random, <laughs> there was this little teddy bear and like a tiny bowling pin. So I'll probably add these to like a little dollhouse miniature kind of lot because I have some like tiny miniature things so that'll just be put in there. All right so quite frankly I think that was everything that we found at the church it just wasn't wasn't a whole lot of stuff. Oh there is one other thing I got from the church uh, sale. So it was this piece here and I think I may list this. Um, this is like a pewter um, metal goblet. It was 50 cents and it's really well made. It's got that medieval type of look to it, look with a red stone and there's a knight on a horse. 
it's pretty cool looking. This would be awesome for like a renaissance fair type thing. And this is by Pacific Giftware. So I may end up listing this. I haven't looked it up yet, but for 50 cents, I thought that was a good deal for a really unique piece. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the stuff that I got at the rummage sale. Um, first day of the rummage sale, it's always $10 to fill a bag. And I did find some things. It was like last month they didn't have one. Um, but I did find uh, quite a few, I think, really cool pieces. So I'll show you the stuff that I listed first. Uh, the first thing that I listed was this kitty cat. This is ceramic. It's a vase shaped like a Siamese kitty cat. It's so cute. And it's kind of like skinny and flat almost. And it's all hand painted. And it's by Cats by Nina. Her name's Nina Lyman. So that's what the maker's mark looks like. I just thought this was so stinking cute. I love cats. So I picked this up and I listed it as a buy it now for $19.99. was also a really awesome find. I found a vintage left in bisque Valentine's Day girl. So I always feel like it's so hard to find like the vintage um, Valentine's Day like decorative pieces. So this was a really cool find in my opinion. So I picked her up and I listed her on auction with a starting price of $19.99. Like one of those finds, I just couldn't believe it. Um, this is one of those Mexican folk art hand painted alabrije pieces. So if you've been watching all my videos, you know I bought some of these at an auction. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever think I'd find one out in the wild, especially at a rummage sale, but lo and behold. And this is why it's so important to like learn things and research things and stuff like that because you know, I wasn't the first person at this table and I still found the Left in Valentine's Day girl. I found this guy. And I would think like some people who don't know what these are would just think that like a kid painted it or something, you know what I mean? Uh, but it is actually a Mexican piece. It is signed on the bottom and it's of a little fish. So this was just like, I couldn't believe it. Just couldn't believe it. Um, I did list this on auction with a starting price of $29.99. So had I not purchased these before, I would have been that same person thinking like a kid painted this and probably wouldn't have picked it up and even looked at the bottom. Eric found this piece. This is a little Boyd's Bear um, trinket box. Uh, the Boyd's trinket box they call treasure boxes. So this is a treasure box shaped like an Easter egg. And there's a little bear, hopefully you can see that. There's a little bear with bunny ears poking out of the top here. And a lot of the times these Boyd's Bear's trinkets have little like treasures inside. So it says every bunny loves some bunny sometime. So there's like this little piece here that pops out and then there's a tiny little bear. Or no, that's, yeah, that's a bear. Dressed up as a chick on a little nest. So it's so stinking cute. I love little things like this. Um, and I listed this as a buy it now for $12.99. So Easter is coming. Listed the little Disney dopey figure. This is ceramic and this is by Grolier. Um, so it's just dopey from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And I listed him as a buy it now for $9.99. And then the only other thing I listed um, from the rummage sale was this vintage plastic Easter egg. I remember these from back in the day. Like when you open them, the little chick comes out and makes a squeaking noise. So people do collect these things. I know they just seem like little plastic cheapy things, but people do collect them. Um, and I listed this as a buy it now for $9.99. So those are the things that I listed. And then I'm gonna share with you some of the other stuff I picked up. I grabbed these little owl figures. These are kind of heavy, like ceramic pieces. I don't know if someone hand painted them or what, but I loved the coloring on them. I loved the look. 
This one, he's wearing like a little vest with a bow tie. And this one's got some flowers on it. I just thought they were really cute. So again, if I don't list these on eBay, I'll save them for a show. I have a lot of owl stuff. So I was thinking of maybe at one point doing an owl show on whatnot. Um, I also grabbed this Juicy Couture perfume. I think this one might be the men's the men's version the men's cologne spray um i'm still gonna pick up perfume regardless if it's used um i plan on doing and a subscriber actually um suggested to me to do a beauty show on whatnot so i'm probably gonna do one of those and i definitely have some perfume i can put on there so i did take that um i took this this is like a really heavy marble stone. It's got this really neat shape to it and coloring. It says made in Pakistan on the bottom. So this would be like a cute kind of like paperweight and I've been wanting to do a paperweight show. I have like all of these ideas just like flying through my head as far as like whatnot shows, but um, I got that for that. I also found some little tiny critters. This one is a buffalo and it does have a signature on it. It says MJ here on the bottom of its foot. I don't know what that stands for, but he's like a ceramic little buffalo. So I took him. I also took this little, um, this is some sort of stone and i'm not quite sure what animal this is maybe a tiger <laughs> i don't know um like a soapstone maybe there was a tag here but i can't read what it says but i just grabbed that as well unfortunately um this little mini ceramic mug is broken you can see there's like a big crack in it i didn't realize that when i picked it up um it does say japan on the bottom so I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with this yet. I also found this Santa Claus um, piggy bank. It's got a slot on the top to use as a bank. And then he has a sack here you could sit something in. Um, I'm not sure what year he's from or anything like that. He has no maker's marks. But I want to do a Christmas show on whatnot as well. So thinking about that um, same with this next thing I found this little vintage flocked Christmas ornament um, maybe Mrs. Claus on skis I know people really like these flocked Christmas ornaments so um, I picked her up I also picked up this tin I don't typically buy tins but this one was so stinking cute and I thought it would be cute to put in a Christmas show it has a little sleeping kitty cat on it and there's like a print on it all around it as well as the inside like insanely nice so the lid has candy canes that say Merry Christmas and the bottom of the tin is just a bunch of really fun colorful toys so I thought that was so stinking cute it's by a company called sugar plum is what the tag says so I did pick that up I also took like all of these um they call these wizard air fresheners they're from the 80s so they're just like they're like wax they feel like wax but they're scented there's like a smell to them so again thinking Christmas show I just took them all so there were these two Christmas trees so they're really cute though like I said they feel like a, a wax then there were three of these um, Santa Clauses. These ones don't have like the, the bases or what have you. Um, and then this one was wrapped up, but he does have his base. They kind of look like girly candles in all honesty, but they're not. Um, then there was also a caroler. I like this one a lot. I think this one's so stinking cute. And then the rocking horse. So I just took all of those. They smell nice too. Very like fragrant. Um, I also took this hand painted egg. It says it's 
is made with a real eggshell and it's painted, it's still in its packaging. Really cute. It says delicate hand-painted real eggshell with decorative ribbon. So got that. Easter's coming, right? This thing, I have no idea what it is. I remember I picked it up and I was like, what is this, a dinosaur? No clue, but I like weird stuff. I just, I can't help it. I couldn't let it sit. So I, I'm pretty sure it's it's a dinosaur. I don't know my dinosaur names, but um, it's got these like pink rhinestone eyeballs. I don't know, and it feels like a, like a, almost like a wood material. I'm not entirely sure. I have no, I have no idea, but I put it in my bag because I couldn't say no to it, right? So that was pretty much everything that I found at the rummage sale. I did also find like a little German wooden like candle holder, like a tiny candle holder, but one of the wings of the angel ended up being broken. So I sat it back down. Um, but that's pretty much everything for the rummage sale. Again, not a whole lot to resell. I paid $10 for my bag. So if I can at least sell the stuff that I listed, um, you know, I'll make my money back plus profit. And then the rest, like I said, probably going to go into like whatnot shows potentially at some point. So speaking of whatnot shows, I know you probably are all tired of me jib jabbering <laughs> about whatnot, but I do want to make mention that um, Tuesday, this coming Tuesday at 8 p.m., I'm going to be having my fourth whatnot show. I had someone like asked me, I think it was just today, if I was planning on selling on whatnot. I'm up to my fourth show, guys. Um, and I do make mention of them in my videos. Um, so fourth show is going to be a jewelry show, my first jewelry show, and all of my start prices are at $1. So with like what whatnot takes out, like if I sell something for a dollar, I'm only making like 40 some ish cents. Um, so not a whole lot of profit there, but um, you know, for me, whatnot right now, it's about clearing out the stuff that I have and that type of thing. So I don't necessarily care so much like exactly what I'm getting for stuff because it's more about making room for more inventory since yard sale season is coming. This is the jewelry box full of jewelry that I'm selling on whatnot on Tuesday. It's mainly like costume jewelry and stuff like that, but everything is $1 start. Um, and then I'm giving away this little jewelry um, catch-all tray. So that's like my free giveaway item. So like I said, if you're interested in coming to hang out with me, um, Tuesday at 8 o'clock, that's Eastern Standard Time. I always leave like a link to my show um, when I'm having one that you'll see before I have it in like the video as a pinned comment. Um, so there's that. And then there were two other things I kind of wanted <laughs> to talk about a little bit before I get off of here. Um, I actually received a thank you card in the mail yesterday from a subscriber, Anita. Um, so I just wanted to thank her for that. She had purchased something from me on eBay and I don't know if she had mentioned she was a subscriber or like I didn't realize because I always like to leave little like handwritten thank you notes to you know subscribers when they purchase something from me. So I apologize Anita if like I did not realize that you were a subscriber but thank you so much for the thank you card. That means so much to me. Um, it always warms my heart like I'm not expecting to ever like get anything like in return. Um, so it just it made it put a smile on my face and I keep all of my cards and stuff and letters that I get from you guys when you send them so I just wanted to say thank you for that and the last thing that I wanted to show at this big old wall shelf this is really nice it's wood it's got um you know, obviously like the hanger to hang it by. Um, Eric and I picked this up at an auction. We won it for $2, which I think is, you know, a really great deal. This is a really nice um, shelf. It has some cute uh, design to around it. Um, let me set this down while I talk. So Eric and I, we really want to at some point 
actually get a booth at an antique mall. We've been talking about it for a while. A lot of people at the auction, a lot of our friends from the auction all have antique booths. Like that's what they do. Um, some of them have antique booths and do eBay. Some just have antique booths. But for the majority of the people, everyone has an antique booth. And we're like, why don't we have one? We have so much stuff. And you know, it would be so much fun. We both think it would be a lot of fun. So we're definitely tossing around the idea of doing that. We're kind of trying to think of which place would best suit our selling needs as far as like local um, antique malls in our area. There's some malls in our area that we feel are a little on the like flea market side of things where like, there is nice old antiques, but there's also a lot of like new, almost like yard sale stuff in a lot of the booths. And you know, it's still nice to look at that stuff. Like I'm not saying like that's not good because those are the types of booths I like to look into. Um, but we just don't know with the stuff that we're gonna sell, uh, we'll probably be more of like our higher end type of stuff and things like that. Um, not all of it, obviously, but, and then there are some antique malls in our area that are high-end malls. Like, your stuff has to be, like, from a certain time period, um, like, vintage and, and older, or else, you know, you're not even going to be able to, like, sell this stuff in their mall. So, we kind of want an in-between mall, and we're still trying to, like, figure that out exactly where we would like to be. Um, and then we're going to have to be put on a waiting list, I'm sure, and that type of thing. So, I'm not sure how long it's all going to take, but obviously, if it happens, you guys will know all about it, and I'll make videos about it, and all that good stuff. But for the time being, like, with that shelf, that shelf, we're thinking um, ahead of time, and we're trying to buy, like shelves and like curio cabinets and things like that where we can display our stuff in because when you get a booth it's not necessarily just automatically gonna have shelves and stuff for you to put your things on so you kind of need to to buy that stuff to display your things so we're trying to work on that as well just in case we would happen to go to an antique mall be like hey we'd like a booth and they're like okay here you go kind of thing and then we don't have and like we're not prepared type of thing. So that shelf is going to be something we can put in the antique booth. Um, I mean, I'll sell it too, I'll put a price on it, um, but it can also hold some, you know, smaller items. So it's just something that we're thinking of doing. So if anyone has an antique booth, um, let me know like how you like it, um, what works for you, that type of thing, anything you wanna share about it. Um, I'd love to hear it. So that's pretty much everything for this haul. It's kind of a mishmash of random things, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought down in the comments and I will see you next time.